Someone who told me that my podcast is the best non-knitting podcast that she was aware of. Uh, one of the coolest emails I've ever got was a kid who was, who was, I don't remember what day it was, the show airs on some college campuses, and a kid emailed me saying, you know what's great is I wake up hungover every Saturday morning and me and my buddies listen to your show. And I go, you know, that's fantastic that a bunch of guys are out getting it done on a Friday night and Saturday morning they wake up hungover to listen to Catholic Radio. I'm a big fan. Definitely like the hard ones, like the ones where people, where there have been like a few emails where people say, either either your podcast has helped, me, helped bring me back to the church. Yeah, that's it. Those are the biggest ones. But How's super negative? <laughs> I got an email from um, a man in Russia, and they said that in Russia, like, there's not a ton of Catholic people. Like, there's some, but not a lot. So they live in, like, some rural town in Russia I've never heard of. I mean, I don't really know that many Russian towns. But, like, so it was some Russian town that I'd never heard of, and they said that there was only, like, 15 people in their town that are Catholic, and they just decided that they would start listening to the show. I guess they spoke English, and they started listening to it, and they listened to it every single week, and that just, like, really inspired me that there's people all the way across the world doing that. I'm sure our mother wrote it. <laughs> she writes most of the comments on her when, when I did one on moral relativism, and someone said to me that I was promoting hate crimes. <laughs> Uh, the most memorable comments would be the ones that uh, people have said they came, came back to the faith after listening to the story of one of the saints. Ooh. Well, lately, I guess we remember the controversial ones, and lately I did a, a blog post about um, texting while driving, admitting that I don't text, but I do occasionally check an email while, while driving, and that started a big backlash about the fact that that's actually uh, not only illegal but a sin as well so I learned something in that and I think that's one of the things about blogging is that you learn a lot from your commenters. One we had where we were talking about the whole adopting embryo thing and um, we talked about that but we talked about the fact that you know um, in vitro fertilization was wrong and I, one woman emailed us that you know that she had done in vitro fertilization she was a Catholic and it wasn't wrong and how could you say that her her child was born of an evil act, and you're like, <laughs> oh, I don't know. We just catechism. <laughs> anyway, so but those are memorable, of course, where people contradict you or um, not say hurtful things, but just where you feel like maybe even you've hurt them in some way. I don't ever feel that way. People say it's like they're listening. They're sitting down drinking a cup of coffee with people that they see at Mass every week, but they never took the chance to get to know. And now they feel like they're getting to know other Catholics. I don't remember. Oh, I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> uh, I've had so many memorable comments on my blog. It's really, that, that's a really tough one to answer. I really don't. family that told me that they've been listening with their kids when they brought the kids to school they were listening to my show every morning and as a result that whole family returned to to the church and that was amazing when you hear of someone's story that is just really inspired by what we've done or that it's hit like a story that's hit home like that we'll receive emails or feedback and just be like hey it's really good. I sent this podcast to a friend, and now my friend, you know, is kind of interested in the church again. Um, that's really touching because it's like it's not even, you know, that's not us. That's God. It's just that maybe through what we're doing, God is talking, and that's really humbling.